Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. As I've been throughout this month, I'm joined right now by Pixar Academy Award winner John Lasseter. You probably never tire of hearing that. <laughs> He's the director of Toy Story 1 and 2, also the upcoming release Cars. John, thank you so much for doing oh, this. Oh, this has been a great, it's been great this month. All month, John has been helping me introduce a festival of films by another Academy Award winning animator, Japan's Hayao Miyazaki. And we're going to close out our festival with a pair of films that Miyazaki executive produced but did not direct. We begin with Only Yesterday from 1991. It's the story of a 27 year old woman reminiscing about her childhood as she questions where she is in her life as an adult. Now, uh, this film was directed by Isao Takahata, Takahata right. a, a clo very close friend very of Very close Miyazaki's. friend. Takahata-san is, is it, they, they met in the 60s when they were um, animating on some television shows, uh, television animation together. They were members of the union mm -hmm. together and they became very close. And so as, as Miyazaki-san formed his studio, he, w he wanted to have a place for, for his friend to, to, to direct films. But they always say that they don't really talk to each other when they direct films because they would just lead to arguments you know <laughs> yeah, they're very close though uh, yeah I suspect that, uh, that both these guys as accomplished as they are particularly Miyazaki that they're they're probably pretty stubborn when it comes yeah. to when yeah. it comes to these they're, kind of films they're both fantastic artists yeah when you talk about uh, anime in, right. in Japan this is uh, I mean it's a it's big business in America it's a, but it's gigantic in Japan. It's, it's really big because you know it is uh, the Japanese comic book is is such it, it's it's so big in Japan and it's across all age groups. Everybody is reading their novels, or from kids to adults. Like you'll see businessmen on the subways on the reading the comics. Absolutely, and and this has influenced the animation. You know, there's a very particular style to Japanese animation, and you see it across you know lots of studios and and filmmakers and artists, and and it's really influenced by by the, the, the these comic books, and. What's what's fascinating is when you think about how many animated films comes out in the United States every year, and, the, and it's, it's been growing, which yeah, is exciting course. for me. It's like ten times as much in Japan. They love animation. There's a lot of primetime animated TV shows, as well as as, as feature films. And what's interesting is is I've learned this from our films being released over in Japan, is that the Japanese audience they love sequels. They do. Yeah, there are certain series where they make feature films, and every year there's another installment of a, of, of, of a feature film. And they have, like, you know, number nine, number ten of, of, a, of a film going on. For a country that is accustomed to the, the greatness of Miyazaki, and they yes. respond incredibly well to his films, three of the top five grossing films in, in Japan are his movies. Right. Uh, how do they respond to the 3D animation that, that you guys do at, at Pixar? Yeah, what's interesting is, is that my friend... Miyazaki-san really helped out. He loves our films. Right. He, he really he loves the characters. He loves the stories, and you know, he really helped out. He he kept telling everybody these are great films to watch. And when Miyazaki-san says these are great films to watch, people watch them. And it's <laughs> been, and that's why you know I have a debt of gratitude to, towards Miyazaki-san and that that studio um, over there in Tokyo G Studio Ghibli. It's it's an amazing place, and his films both directed by him and directed by Takahata-san. They're so unique. They're so beautiful. There's The character and the stories are so special, and they're full of heart. Yeah. That's what I love about his films, and, and really enjoyable, and especially the one tonight is really special. All right, well, let's take a look at it. Here it is, executive produced by Hayao Miyazaki from 1991. It's Isao Takahata's Only Yesterday. 